I would really recommend thinking about setting yourself a routine. If you're anything like me, so many changes at the same time are really overwhelming, but having a routine can make it feel a little less overwhelming and can make you feel a little bit more grounded. Prioritise what you think will genuinely be useful for you in your assessments and doesn't make you feel overwhelmed. Particularly in a year such as this, it is really important to take care of your mental health and feel supported. First things first is to read your module handbook on your Blackboard page. These are really important as they let you know of all the prep needed for your seminars and lectures, as well as giving a really good overview of the module as a whole. So print them out and keep them handy. One way you can come to uni prepared is by going into every lecture and seminar with an open mind. For example, you might not be initially interested in a certain module, but it's so important to give it a go and you might find something new that you never thought of trying before. Most days you'll have lectures and these are really helpful as you get valuable insights from your lecturers and it's a great time for you to take notes, whether your lecture's in a lecture theatre or you're taking it online. And throughout your week you also have seminars, these are in smaller groups so it's a great time to discuss key readings, hear other people's perspectives, you can also ask questions on anything you're unsure of. But throughout your day you also have lots of spare time so you can catch up on any readings or assignments in the quiet spaces on campus. Elmfield, the sociology building, it has some really nice like small quiet computer suites and places to study that in my opinion just blow the information commons out of the water. Uh, but don't tell anyone who doesn't study sociology that. <laughs> Check your university, university or Sheffield email address daily. This is what lecturers will use to give you any updates on the module, as well as give you any information that wasn't in the handbook. So keep checking it. There's lots of extra support you can get if you feel like you need it. So services like 301 really helped me to do much better than I ever could have imagined I would do at university. I've got a simple motto of do the work, and it really is a case of if you do the work, if you put the time in, you'll be fine. One of the most intimidating parts of starting a social science course that I personally found is the reading lists. They are extensive, compiling of essential readings and additional readings. The most imp important piece of advice I feel I could give myself would be to not let this intimidate you. Do not feel like you have to complete the full reading list every single week. It is there as a guide and to help in your assessment. What I would advise is that you complete your essential readings every week. And I'd really encourage you to look into the work that your lecturers are doing, that your seminar leaders are doing, look into the research that's going on in the department because it's really inspiring. You can make notes and study in whichever way you find helpful. This provides you with a lot more control over the way in which you work. You get the chance to pick and change some of your modules. This allows you to tailor a lot of your university life towards your own interests. The department are absolutely amazing. Um, if you ever need any help with anything, there's always someone there to help. You're never alone. There's literally always someone that you can email. There's always someone that you can go to in the actual department in Elmfield. I would really honestly just say speak to your lecturers, speak to your seminar leaders if you have any problems. They are experts in their field, they are involved in research and they're really passionate about what they do. So they will be more than happy to help you out. The department and the university both did a great job of getting us through the lockdown period. Um, they supported us really well and so I'm confident that while we're still working within the framework of a new normal, um, you know, you're in the best place you can be, so enjoy.